Hello, hello, back again. Okay, I think I fixed this time problem, I think, on the camera, so hopefully I don't have to stop and go to the next video, which throws me off my game, so to speak. Okay, so the next thing I want to talk about, going back a little bit, and uh, what we're doing here with this second round is I'm going to be helping people go through the fourth dimension without, uh, remember the first when we were going through the gecko vibrations. The gecko vibrations are primarily fear and anger. Now, the, um, the pigeon ones, uh, and I've told you before, but... Let's go with caring what other people think. Uh, that'll be a big pigeon way of thinking is is trying to fit in. You want to um, you want to you really care what other people think. That has got to go in to get to 5D. You cannot care about uh, what other people are thinking of you, and you cannot care about what other people are doing. So basically, what other people think about you is none of your business, basically. And your big concern is how do you feel about you. So you always want to go as you're going through pigeon land, and they try to draw you in with, this is what's acceptable and this is not. These are the rules by which society uh, runs by. Uh, you don't fall for any of that. Um, yeah, guilt, huge in pigeon land will guilt you into things so this will be a uh, whereas the gecko period of time is harder for your average male to get through because they have to let go of anger and fear because the patriarchy is built on uh, men's anger producing fear so they can keep control of everything so as we leave that behind we go into uh, generally the women's, undivine women's area, which is guilt. Guilt about how you're raising the kids, what other people think about you, whether or not you're doing a good enough job, whether or not none of that guilt is really on based on you taking care of yourself and what you need. And that's exactly what you should be doing. Everybody at this point should now be um, taking care of yourself. Your job is you. That is your job. Your job is you and only you. You can't control anybody else. Nobody else can do anything about you. So your job is to be the best you that you can be. The best, most aligned, highest vibratory being that you can be. Now, I've heard a lot of information over the last few years, really, uh, quite a ways, is a lot of complaints, a lot of sadness, a lot of worry about chickens being in little big chicken houses and all the horrible things that go with it, how the diseases are worse. Uh, they can't run around and be healthy. Uh, they are fattening them up. Um, they tend toward disease, so they'll be given a lot of medication. Same thing with true with little tiny pens for cows, I mean for pigs and for sheep. Um, ducks, uh, feedlots for cattle, um, and y'all are right. You've got all of this information. Now I'm going to ask you to take it a little bit further now. If you look at farmers farming um, crops, they're basically doing the same thing. You've got these plants all jammed next to each other, uh, which does set them up for, they're more at risk for, disease there so they've got to spray them more with more things they're more at risk for well just basically go over the same thing that you did with the animals in nature you don't see this you see plants and animals spread out working or, or living interacting symbiotically so you, you still have bugs that can do damage but they're kept in control by other things that they have good things that they do and bad things that they do, and everything is kept in check by working with each other, okay? This is the way towards 5D. As you're in 4D, this is the way that all life will go back to being, is this symbiotic relationship. So rather than 
having a farmer plant thousands of hundreds to thousands of acres of one kind of of crop or one crop per season then be then it will go back to these smaller fields that feed less people but grown in such a way that it's organic it's good for the planet it's good for the beans that are involved the uh, like you take the chickens out and you put them free range and you take the cows out and you put them free range and and the, the pigs and they can interact with each other and they have a life eat the appropriate food fertilize the ground um, drink appropriate water interact with the plants and you have this great symbiotic relationship between all of that the same thing is true with crops uh, you want to do that same thing so you want to do what mother nature does everything that is edible and grows you can do that in a symbiotic way now and that is the way that you want to fix earth and you want to make less of a of a foot footprint that's the way it's done instead of having giant corporations run farms farms go back down to smaller and even better um where i come from when i was growing up everyone had a garden everyone had a garden and they were much better at it than they are now but they weren't even as good as what they're going back to and i've done a video on this before somebody told me what the name of permaculture I think it's permaculture where you plant plants that some of the plants keep the bugs away, other bugs come in and they're helpful. Um, working together helps them. Uh, you don't get weeds that you have to kill or uh, everything works with each other. We need to learn to do that again. That you um, learn how to take care of yourself and your family the reason for this is because you're heading towards 5d where you're going to be doing this with a thought you're going to be creating whatever it is that you want with a thought so this is a process of getting back to that now i've seen a lot of people that go oh well no technology everything's technology humans tend to do this this extreme light dark that's what the whole game's built on but that's not what we should be doing we should be ending up in the middle if um a group of people want to go together and buy a field and uh hire people or do the work themselves and create a larger permaculture garden that perhaps feeds a community or even larger fields where the community comes together and they create permaculture organic food that is uh, everybody works on, everybody puts up, everybody uh, agrees with. You see, then it takes all of that food producing away from the corporations and back into the hands of the people. So no longer can you do, does anyone need to live in fear of no food? We were very, very poor when I was growing up, but we never worried about food because I was raised uh, to hunt, fish, and grow gardens. So food was not something that we worried about. Uh, it was not a worry in my family. Whether or not the house payment was made, whether or not the electric bill was paid, those were definitely um, a worry. But food was not. So what we need to do is get that power back to yourself. Now, if you are a long-term human and you're good at just seeing these things done and they occur, then that's great. But a lot of people are still under worried about the planet. So the way that we fix that planet is to try to go back to nature as, as much as possible. Now, I've heard all of these horror stories about people being worried about all these animals in little boxes living in a way that they were not meant to live, uh, with no freedom and very prone to disease in little tiny boxes. Well, that's what humans have done to themselves when you pile yourselves up in a city. 
you are doing to yourselves what you complain about happening to other animals and whether you know it or not the plants have been done that way as well so what we want to do is we want to stop it in all of those areas and you do that by supporting people who are raising animals in a in a fray in a organic free natural way you want to support farmers who grow organically rotate crops if you've got someone that does the permaculture, permaculture thing, support them in that. Uh, really, I think just about everyone has a wall or a little balcony where you can grow some of your own food. And I would encourage you to do so. It's not that hard. Um, water and sun does most of the work. And it is a good way for you to get in touch with the food that you're eating. Uh, I would encourage people to start cooking again. Uh, not that there's anything wrong with going out to restaurants, but how about doing some more cooking at home? Really look at recipes. I am 60 years old. I was there in the age when um, I fell for it hook, line, and sinker to get boxes of of stuff to make it home um, like macaroni and cheese hamburger helper a tuna helper uh, cake mixes um, pancake mix look if you guys really look at that stuff and they snuck it in on us they didn't do it all at once they did it one thing at a time and it made it a novelty we did it and then we just kept doing more and more and more and then I got old enough to like uh, look back at things because I was taught to cook when I was growing up and I realized that um, yeah I had just fallen for it hook line and sinker that it's really really easy to um, buy a bag of macaroni and buy a can of uh, nacho cheese soup and fry up some hamburger and put all that together with some picante sauce and make you a really good hamburger helper. Same thing is true. Tuna tuna helper, that is what we used to call in the day tuna fish casserole. And it was end of the week, whatever extra vegetables you had, you put it in with macaroni, with cream of mushroom or cream of chicken soup, with a can of of a tuna fish you mixed it all in and put it in the oven as a casserole it was tuna fish casserole very inexpensive way to eat and it got us very inventive it was kind of the leftover thing and everybody had it everywhere so i would encourage you if you want to head towards those higher vibrations is to first thing is to see what you can do to get out of the cities the, the cities are more prone to um, interfere with the vibrations of the planet. And there are there's plenty of land out there, guys. Um, uh, it is Technology is set up so that many, many people can do their jobs from home now with, with the computer access that they've got. And I would be shocked if businesses don't take advantage of this, that... If you can have your employees all work from home and shut down all the expense of a big business building, I would think that that would be ideal. This is a good way of starting your own business in, in excuse me, any of these businesses that you're related to. Everybody's got access to 7 billion people on the planet and a lot of them use the internet. So now's the good time to uh, take what you're doing already and go make a deal with a company to work from home. Um, this is a good way of being at home for your, for your children. You and your husband both work from home. Do it, get a job where you can just produce a product. X amount of, of work needs to be done, but they don't require you to be right there accessible from like 8 to 5. Or if you do, have one of you do it 8 to 5 and the other one 
another time of the day so that you both can be there to raise your children. Wouldn't that be awesome? So if you'll take that and you take city money and city paycheck and move it to a small town, you will get a lot more from your month for your money. You won't miss out on the good things. You could still drive to the museums. You could still go to concerts. You could still drive to a nice restaurant. But if you start grow at least supporting real farmers markets not farmers markets where they're shipping stuff in <clears throat> from mexico i mean real farmers markets go out there and find your farmers go outside your city drive around and find your farmers talk to them uh, make a deal with them if you're going to stay in the city because you can't leave then Go talk to the people in your building and, and go talk to the farmer. Make a co-op deal with them. You'll get a lot more food for a lot less money and it'll be a lot better food. Let's start working with Gaia instead of um, bossing her around. You know, it's so funny to watch that show Naked and Afraid and you have people that go out and they say, I'm going to go up against Mother Nature and I'm going to make her my bitch. Um, they usually don't do very well. And by the time they're done, they usually say, I was wrong, uh, can't be done, she's a lot tougher than I am. And I assure you, she is much tougher. She's a, a tough mom, but she's trying to make a point here with everything that's going on. She's trying to, with all the awareness and everything, she's trying to make it possible for y'all to be able to go out on the planet and do what you can do about raising food, cooking your own food, learn how to do that again. This used to be common sense. Um, go out there and, and teach your kids how to make pancakes and, and salad and a sandwich and making bread and cookies is fun together. Um, if you've got, if you can transition out to to get you a uh, a couple acres of land, it doesn't take much to raise some chickens and whatever else uh, other meat you want to eat, and a garden, and to learn how to can that stuff and put it up for the winter. It is not hard to do these things. You've got. Uh, instead of attacking technology, you've got everything you ever wanted to know how to do on YouTube. Absolutely. And if you want to bumble your way through it, take a video of it and put it up there so that people can see that people that have never done it before, you can do this. Um, the same thing is true with building a house. You can pick your area that you want to be in. You can set it up to collect water. You can set it up to be off the grid energy efficient and get the energy from the sun and the wind or put it next to a stream and get hydropower. This is how you want to change the planet. This is what helps the planet. The planet can get rid of the plastic. The planet can clean the air. She's good at all that kind of stuff. If you really want to do something for the planet, plus be on your way to 5D, then start creating these relationships again, both with the food that you eat and the place that you live, the, the building that you live in. You know, instead of it being a construction company that build 100 houses that all look the same, Look it up, guys. It's not that hard to build a house. Um, a lot of the younger people I see are very happy with less. Uh, if you build a house that has a bedroom for two kids and a bedroom for parents and a, a reasonable kitchen and uh, a bathroom with a composting toilet, it is not that hard. These basic um concepts of how to run the electrical lines that's all put in there in youtube how to run plumbing that's the same stuff that's been going on for thousands of years you can do this 
um, a small greenhouse will get you through year-round. The weather is mellowing on purpose so that pe the, the, uh, the deserts are trying to be healed so that you can grow your own food no matter what it is. If you want to be vegan, be vegan. Grow that stuff in a way. Um, love those plants. Um, you build a house yourself or you and your family, you take a lot better care of it. You build it with much more care for long term. Um, it means something. So when the kids grow up and uh, they decide that they want to stick around and raise, they want you involved in raising their grandchildren because they loved being in that family unit. Uh, a lot of the disintegration with the families is due to stress. It's due to stress. So reduce the stress. Go Driving to and from work is stressful. If all you've got to do is get up, get in front of your computer, and do your job, especially if you could pause it and go play with uh, Johnny and, and Alice for an hour, you can fix the meals, and instead of having one quiet meal at night you can have breakfast lunch and dinner with all of you together that on the weekends that you can include family and friends this transitioning over in working together instead of competing of bringing it back to the people instead of giving it to the corporations of taking care of each other instead of the government doing it of coming up with new things that you love doing that people i know there are people out there that would be very good at woodworking um that you would make beautiful furniture and if you were going to live at this same place and if you could trade out what you do best and these numbers got more reasonable so that hand piece of handmade piece of furniture were everywhere, not just one group, one company that was sold to the uber rich. If everyone had a carpenter, if everyone had a um, a designer, and that these areas and these places were further spread out, it's like city people. Most of the time, I've lived half my life in a city, half in the country. Most of the time when I was in the city, uh, we would drive to our job and drive back and then spend most of the rest of the time in our community. You might drive to go eat supper. You might drive to another community to see uh, and hang out with a friend, but you do that in small towns too. Essentially, there's not that much difference except you drive further distance. City people will be in a car much longer, but they'll go shorter distances because there's so many cars going to the same areas. In the country, you drive further distances, but you're essentially doing the same thing. So that there can, there can this, this wall between the country and the city people would come down, that um, growing your own food and raising your own food is not something that just country people do. It's what people do. That um, getting a piece of land and building a house is something that people do. All people do. And that um, the epitome of a job is to find a job that you could do it from home and raise your family, do those jobs at the same time simultaneously. That when you leave and you go out, that you go out and you do fun things with each other and find other families that are like-minded. So that you, on the weekends, you're not all caught up in um, this kid doing ballet and this one over here doing football. How about everybody as a family go out and do something that they enjoy doing together? Uh, whatever that may be. Um, how about family baseball? I don't know. Rethink how we come together rather than separate out. And do the things that you truly love to do, not what society has set up, because societies change. They always change. 
So in this new way towards 4D, if you're coming out of Gecko Land, looking for a new society with new society rules to tell you what the new norm is, then the pigeons will be happy to step in and do that for you. But if you want to fly through 4D and not be bossed around by anybody else, then use this technology to reach out and build something new. Um, work with Gaia instead of against Gaia. Uh, do things for yourselves. Um, uh, you know, a smaller area where instead of, I don't even know how many people that want to be in fashion design, but there are people who want to be in fashion design because they truly love to make clothes, to design clothes. There are people who are tailors and seamstresses that truly love creating with um, with fabric. Wouldn't it be nice if everybody just kind of spread out a little bit more and uh, there was a baseline of stuff that you did yourself and then there were specialties. Like uh, only a handful of people get to be world famous fashion designers. Well, how about we kind of spread out a little bit more and in your community you have your um, fashion designer that you can talk to that has your look that your community has its look that your your fashion designer walks around and talks to people and they want what you've got and there are seamstress and tailors that create those looks out of fabric and then you have people that raise that truly love to raise sheep and they know how to raise the sheep and pull that yarn off and there are others that love to make um fabric love to make to love to weave and all of these things that we know have been handed over into uh commercialization if we require less money and are truly interested in doing what we love we can pull these things back to us create communities instead of instead of famous people create communities where you are doing exactly what you want that you don't need to compete with new york city and paris to be the best clothing designer be the best clothing designer for your community your community Kind of spread out. Let there be more room amongst each other. And start creating for yourself. Do as much as you can for yourself. Cook yourself. Um, grow your food yourself. Uh, if you can weave, then weave. If you learn to do these things yourself, to bring that creation back into your life, because it's still there. It's still there. It's just you're so used to giving it to the commercial people that you don't know anything else. Instead of there being, I have listened to, I love America's Got Talent and The Voice and uh, American Idol, I love those shows. And what I learned is there is there are magnificent talents everywhere. So instead of fighting to be a handful of talent that is spread through the world, how about community-wise, we support this talent in a meaningful way so that there is room for a seamstress and a fashion designer and the person who um, gets the wool and grows the cotton and makes the clothes and cooks on special occasions, is the fancy baker, um, the painter, the singer, the designer of new communities and of houses. Bring it back into more like permaculture permaculture for humans where everything gives and takes in a smaller group and then eventually what would happen 
what will happen is there will be the cities will come down people will spread out they'll find each other in these communities and eventually the communities will meet with each other and it will be worldwide around this sharing of not competition of a fair exchange and sharing of creativity so coming out of the industrial age let's go into the creative age where we realize that we don't need as much stuff as we thought we did but what we do need is more peace more time more time with our friends when and and more time with our families and that there's a lot of this that we need to just relax that we need to realize that we need to just relax we have seen what billions upon billions of dollars does for people you've seen it i've seen it um i would suggest to you that if we do follow what gaia has shown us to do in that the only time that anybody hoards anything is for the winter time and the animals will eat and put on a bunch of weight and the squirrels will and the ants will put things away for the winter time but that's the extent of hoarding after that mother earth nature assumes and gets what it needs when it needs to interacts with one another and some things die when it's time and other things are born and a bird sings because it loves to and a fish jump up in the sky um, from the water because it wants to uh, we do it like that and require less spread out work with each other doing creative things with no judgment but fairly in that that singer that's making me happy every night um, at the club where I go and have a drink that person deserves to have just as good of life as the person who is making the beer or who built the houses that when you know each other that there's less there's less anger there's less envy that it's it's when you go into a, a and create a village where creativity and being happy and and working together like um, where like the earth does then there's a peace in that a harmony a lack of trying to get one up on the other guy and I promise you that if you will try this if people will do this those are the people that are heading to 5d um, you certainly this is not the only answer this is a way to get to 5d certainly you can continue the 4d game on a magnificently huge um, level galaxies um, decide oh there'll be galaxies that are making all of the wheat there will be galaxies that are in charge of all the water and then they'll deliver it to everybody you can do what has been done in the third dimension on earth and it is done in the fourth dimension in the universe and the multiverses but if you want to go beyond that then the other way of doing it is to insist on going you can copy Gaia you can see how her forests work does that mean that nobody dies not yet not yet but there aren't um, all these animals cowering in fear behind forts 24 7 with guns in hand they go with the flow if it's time for them to go they go and as someone who's been dead um, that is definitely the way to do it because being dead is is not a bad place to be it is just the next step okay well that's it for this one uh i love you guys so much please subscribe
put these out on Facebook or Twitter, wherever it is you put them. Share them if you would. There's a new bunch of people that I think will really enjoy these videos. Um, I can feel you guys out there. I can't wait to meet you. Um, I'm excited for this next step. Uh, this one will be a lot easier for me. And right now the oceans are being uh, dealt with. Oceans are a whole lot easier than the land walkers were. But uh, the work has been done for anybody who can feel it. Uh, it's magnificent and I feel so much better. But now we've still got steps to go to get uh, Gaia the rest of the way. But yeah, it's, it's doing much better now. Doing much better. We'll talk about that too on a different video. But what you see, uh, what you think you see out there on the planet is not what you, what you, what you think you see is not what's there. I'll just put it that way. Uh, you're seeing through belief systems and your five senses, but things have massively changed in the last month. Massively changed and continue to do so. All right. So I uh, hope you guys have a great evening or day, wherever you are, whenever it is, and uh, I love you so much, and I'll talk to you later. Huge hugs, and bye now.